Criticade! So, welcome back welcome to back Criticade, Criticade, where we are blue streaks, and we're speeding by Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> Jacob, what are your thoughts on Sonic the Hedgehog? Con. Next, <laughs> next topic. <laughs> none of them are good. What are your fair. opinions on Shadow? Uh... Shadow's dumb. A lot of the a lot of Sonic characters are like a lot of non Archie so, uh, like Archie comic Sonic characters are dumb. Like um, you, uh, I can't even think of. What are your opinions on Brexit? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna get crucified. <laughs> what the fuck is a British? <laughs> <laughs> Not even what Brexit is. What's British? Yeah. We spent a whole episode talking about fucking Doctor Who, and then you we like don't know what You like that speedrunner move where I just drop down into the lasers instead of... Yeah, and then you got hit by them three times in a row and are almost dead. <laughs> yeah. Three seconds into the game. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, that's a little pro tip for you, uh, you know, potential Sonic 2 speedrunners out there. Yeah. Just get hit by everything. It, it actually speeds you up. Uh, here's another another pro tip for you Sonic speedrunners out there. Don't... There's don't, Sonic don't, 2 speedrunners. Don't, speed don't play Sonic it. Adventure 2. It's a different <laughs> game. You won't. Your times won't match up. Also, don't don't play Sonic. Play a better game. Play Love Bubsy. <laughs> and watch our Bubsy series right here on Criticade. <laughs> Thanks. We have commercials for our own show <laughs> during our show. <laughs> <laughs> like like little little YouTube ad appears. Yeah. Just, just, like, just like Criticade. <laughs> you wanna not laugh? <laughs> Have you ever imagined what the Game Grumps would be like if they weren't funny? <laughs> hey, imagine if the Game Grumps were 12! <laughs> imagine the, if the Game Grumps only made dick jokes. And then hey. talked about philosophy. <laughs> <laughs> really randomly for one episode. <laughs> Two episodes, actually. Imagine if the Game Grumps kissed a little more. Oh, yeah. That'd be nice. I'd, I'd be into that. I like it. I'd like it if Aaron kissed Danny's dick. I'd like it if I kissed you. Oh, are we doing this? It only took, what, 14 <laughs> episodes? <laughs> That's right, baby. We're on hour eight of, <laughs> of total of recording. We're on, like, day eight, actually. No, we're, like, we're on day no, three. No, like, episodes. We're, 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 we're on week three. Like, yeah, we're recording. on week three. This is our, this is our, our 13th hour. Yeah. Or probably 14th or probably, hour. Total probably more than that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's uh, right. This is our thirteenth hour of friendship, folks. <laughs> we yeah, don't know I, each other. I pulled Robert off the street. We've never met. Uh, yeah, I and I just started this. talking about sucking his dick, and he was like, "We should make a show." <laughs> and it works. And I was like, "Get a load of this." <laughs> yeah, that's that's the story. Yeah, that's that's the inception of Criticate. If you if you wanted, you know, our backstory, our origin story, as it were, uh, that was please it. like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I like I like that thing where we do where we start doing comedy bits and then they just completely fizzle. Uh, uh, <laughs> all right, let's do like let's do a, let's do a comedy bit? scene. Um, like an improv thing. Yeah. Uh, okay. Husband, husband, our uh, son is sick. Our son, our son, he's sick with the polio. The polio? We got stab in his fucking eye. See, that's what I was talking about—the whole <laughs> fizzling out thing. <laughs> There wasn't anywhere to go with that. Fine, we'll do another improv scene. No, no. We'll do these until the cows come okay, home. Okay, okay, okay. Husband, uh, husband, no, no, the no. cows are coming home. We, we need to get suggestions from the audience. No. So. <laughs> we can't do that. Yes, we can. This isn't live. Yeah. What? This isn't live? <laughs> Fuck it. Fuck it. We'll do it live. No. Like that, like like that, that guy who got like arrested. He didn't get arrested. Oh, yeah, no. He just I got should fired. Be arrested. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when Robotnik's fiery, burning corpse lands on Earth, he gets they just arrested. just slap a handcuff on him. <laughs> and they're like, he's burnt to shit, and they're just Good like, Good job, cops! You're under arrest, Eggman! And he's like, dead and bleeding. Kendall Jenner hands a Pepsi to his bleeding corpse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, and just so you guys know, that reference is dated when I said it. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. Don't worry. It's, it's okay. It, it sounds, it's it's ironic. In Where's how, the beef? In its reference. That one less so. <laughs> Weather! No! 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 no. What's your, <sighs> God, you're terrible. What's your favorite meme of the late 90s? I don't have a favorite meme ever. Well, that's just... You're being a little <laughs> negative, Nancy. No, Fr you're being Fresh Prince of Bel-Air being a good show. That's not a meme. That's it just kind of a is. fact. No, it's not. Stop. I don't like it. Stop talking to me. <laughs> 
I don't know. I've only seen a couple episodes. Maybe Every if episode, I watch something. you grow more and more racist and sexist to me. What? I'm not. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> you hate we're all the same, shows. We're the same race, Robert. Don't you even. Hate, yeah, just because we're, we're the both same race. Black. <laughs> <laughs> don't even try that shit. <laughs> No! <laughs> Don't you vocally blackface me, Jacob? Put up a picture of us. No! 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 no, 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 no. That's not, not, not where you think I'm going. Put up! Put up a picture of us being white boys uh, when I say that we're black, <laughs> so that the audience knows that we're joking. Put us wearing uh, man rompers. <laughs> no. <laughs> I actually want one real bad. Really? Yeah, because I've been working out my ass. <laughs> uh, uh, to the ladies watching, uh, I have a bubble butt. Uh, I've been I was born with it. Uh, I okay. never needed to work out for it. Sure. Uh, but now that I am it is <laughs> <laughs> If you ever you ever meet me at Criticade Live check out this tuckus Criticade Live. Yeah, when we do that <laughs> Next week when, when we're when we're gigantic uh, Yeah, when successes. we have 10 million subscribers and I have my Bri Rip Brian Griffin tattoo. <laughs> we're living together and our dickless Oh, yeah, and I'm dickless. <laughs> I forgot about that. Was yeah. it 5 billion subs I cut my dick off? No, no, no. It was 1 million views on Binding of Isaac. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, there's Big. Oh, hey, Big. Do you think I can shoot him? Oh, please let me shoot Big. What if no. What if, What if? if you, you ricochet a bullet, like, wanted style? <laughs> <laughs> that would be amazing, into actually. Big's head and if you could both. ricochet bullets, this game would be 50% better. There was a wanted game that came out, and you could was ricochet it? bullets in it. Really? I never played it, and I huh. really... That is a very underrated movie. Uh, I've never read the comic, actually. I mean, yeah. I've meant to. Uh, but then I read... <laughs> you know what comic I have read based on a movie that no one saw or what? liked? Uh, I read Rest in Peace Department. Remember that movie? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. What it was, the fuck like, was it was about? Ryan Reynolds... Ryan... I think it was Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds? Oh, I love it. Yeah, Ryan Reynolds and Jeff Bridges. And they're like... <laughs> really? Yeah, if you're like a good, good, good boy... When you die, you you you're enlisted into the rest and peace department, and then it's like you're a police officer and for like ghost and shit. Oh, okay. It, it, good idea. Yeah, interesting that's concept. Not, that's not a bad concept. But it's the movie's pretty just trite action garbage. Oh, okay. And the comic is awful '90s garbage nonsense. Well, okay. Which, to be fair, the movie's a ripoff of Men in Black. Uh, that makes sense. Uh, and. So is the comic. <laughs> so, <laughs> also, the comic comes full for circle. Men in Black isn't good either. Really? Yeah, it's not I good. I read that either. Nothing's good. <laughs> Everything's bad. Welcome to Criticade, where we actually criticize stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me tell you about uh, the worst things. Are you excited? Life. Did you see Kingman? Kingsman? No, really? I want to. I'm oh, a big fan of Kick-Ass, yeah. which is another comic book that's terrible. I haven't read Kick-Ass. Kick-Ass is bad. Kick-Ass 2 is worse. Uh, Hit Girl miniseries is also horrible. Okay. Kick-Ass 3 I never finished, but it I'll, started I'll, strongly. Okay. I'll, I'll have to read it, but yeah. Yeah, uh, I'm excited for Kingsman 2. Yeah, I, I, I fucking need to awesome. actually watch it at some point in my it's, life. It's, it's yeah, it, it's nice. It didn't get good reviews, and I get why, but it's yeah. fun. Yeah. It's a fun movie. Wait, no, it got great reviews. People love that movie. I've seen some pretty bad reviews on Rotten Tomatoes. They, really? They it, yeah. I thought people loved that movie. No, to death. Like, like, yeah, people do love that movie, but that's the thing. People aren't critics. Critics, as we know for, on Criticade, are not real people. They're emotionless robots who hate everything. To make themselves like feel good better. movies, like Batman v <laughs> Superman, Dawn of Justice, <laughs> the worst movie Stop. ever. Stop! It's, so it's good. Bad. It's good. It's no, good. It's There's, not. It's good. not. Bad. It's not good. Let's watch it. We we should watch it together. We should do like one of those those uh, commentary. Movie review. Well, yeah. We should do we should do a commentary. Put it up on Bandcamp for one buck. <laughs> or we could put it on our channel for one buck. <laughs> okay, sure. We put, it's our YouTube Red commentary series where we watch <laughs> Batman v Superman every weekend for a year, <laughs> and and just we we get more polarized in our opinions every week. So like by the end, we're like fighting in the background. <laughs> I just want to kiss Henry Cavill. He's a beautiful man. He is a beautiful man. Uh, he's got a great he's square a, jaw and probably he's a, a great he's square a dick. decent Superman. <laughs> Imagine if you if you pulled down Henry Cavill's pants and he had like a Minecraft dick. <laughs> What the fuck is a Minecraft dick? It's like it's like two little <laughs> blocks with like a little circle drawn in the middle of the, oh, <laughs> the, front, the front one. <laughs> That's or three disgusting. blocks in Henry Cavill's case. Oh. Wink, 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 wink. We get it, Robert. You want to fuck Henry Cavill? I might. <laughs> Bitch, I might. <laughs> uh, ben Affleck is a good-looking boy too. Sure. Gal Gadot, pretty good-looking guy. Yeah. 
No, wait. <laughs> she's beautiful. Yeah. She's really beautiful. She's and, yeah, and she's lovely and a fantastic actress. Yeah, uh, I think so. I'd like to. I'd like to give her a, a solid review. I I I'm. I want to review Wonder Woman because, you know, I, I think it has potential if they just don't mess with it at all. Basically, I, if they just transcribe the movie from a comic, it might be okay. What if Jared Leto played Wonder Woman? <laughs> Like he comes in. You, you joke, but like, <laughs> you never know with with fucking DC. That's you never true. know what decisions they're gonna make that just are enraging. He like comes and he's like, I'm Diana <laughs> Mascara, and I'm gonna just play the character. <laughs> you know, I heard he actually uh, spent days pretending to be Wonder Woman to prepare for that role. <laughs> pretending he became her. <laughs> yeah. Jared Leto is the greatest actor of all time. <laughs> Jared Leto's playing me right now. Yeah. Jared Leto's playing anyone who's watching this video. In a way, Jared Leto is playing us all. By being, by <laughs> pretending that he's a good actor. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I wish Jared Leto would give me a little smooch. Really? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, not, not, not into that. He's not a good-looking guy. I'm he, just gonna say it. He's okay. He's okay. I'm not gonna begrudge him. I mean, than I am. But like, it's not like, he's not a. He's not Henry Cavill, that's for sure. That's that's true. And he's you not know. he's no Ben Affleck. He's not supposed to he's be. He's no William Smith. He's no um who who else is in the DC? <laughs> Dwayne The Rock Johnson. What? For what? Black Adam. Is he really? Is yeah. that confirmed? Yeah, he's oh, playing wow. Black Adam in, in Shazam and then he's getting his own movie because they love Dwayne The Rock. <laughs> <laughs> like that's true. Of course they, they do. They pre-confirmed the Black Adam spin-off for Shazam. Oh my god. Yep. So that's. Have I mentioned that I hate the decisions that DC makes? Uh, like I, like <laughs> almost every decision that DC makes is wrong. I think, uh, I think, the Dwayne the Rock Johnson is the most likable person in Hollywood. He's very likable. That very doesn't mean that I want to see him at, in his own movie as Black Adam. What? Because you don't like that he's black? Because I don't like. Because <laughs> I, <don't, laughs> I don't like I don't like that idea. I I think they're doing it because they think that Suicide Squad was a success, and oh, they think, no. oh, bad guys in a movie that worked. Well, Suicide Squad was a success. It, I guess it technically was. Yes. Monetarily, it definitely didn't improve their image. No. Or the I image mean, of the DC universe. I mean, a lot of people universe. actually like both Suicide Squad and Batman v <laughs> Superman. Uh, some people do. I, I've seen more people that like both those movies. I've seen more people that like Suicide Squad. That's true. Okay, yeah. A lot of people hate... A lot of people that haven't seen Batman v Superman hate on it. Really? Yes. I, I've never heard of anyone who oh hasn't seen God, it who hate on it. Oh, my God. Pretty much everyone that but I've talked to about the movie. They're just like... Really? I heard on the internet that they said Martha. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the main criticism of that no, God that awful is movie. That is the main That's criticism. That's not the main criticism. That is the main criticism of the movie is that they say Martha. It's a dumb plot and device. And it's not even stupid. It's a dumb plot device. It works. It's a dumb plot Martha device. Martha isn't dumb. It's a I'm, dumb I'm plot device, but but it's explain. not my main criticism. Explain how it's a dumb plot it's device. It's a dumb plot device explain. that that they've... I mean, it's a dumb plot device that they're fighting in the first place, but then they're fighting... No, uh, it isn't. Yeah, they're fighting all over the movie, and the only reason, the only reason that Batman... Uh, let's up. Superman makes some good arguments to him while they're fighting, and he says, we should work together because, you know, Lex Luthor's insane and crazy, and you don't have to do this. I can work for people. I've saved lots of lives. And no, the only thing that stays Batman's hand from killing Superman is he says his mother's name. And let me explain. The, 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 the good part about that is at the beginning of the movie, they show Batman's origin for a very specific reason. They show it for a very long time, and they show it for a dumb plot device later. It's but it's the worst Chekhov's gun let ever. Me, let me explain. Because because a lot of people who watched the movie didn't get that that was a callback. It's not a callback. It is a callback. It's not a callback because when you're setting up a plot point later in the movie. Jacob? Jacob J. Bellick. <laughs> Can I please understand? Bellick. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> may, Go ahead. May I please explain my point? Yeah. So, at the beginning of the movie... It shows the killer holding the gun over over the parents. Yes. And at the end of the movie, when 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 Batman has the gun to Superman's head, about to clearly kill an innocent ah. that he's aware isn't innocent, but he's just using murdering him as a means to an end for Lex Luthor. Uh, and he's so far gone at that point 
that that he's he's let go of everything that that he's been doing the whole his whole life span as Batman. He's let go of that because he's so far gone. Uh, and then he holds the gun to Superman's head, and he holds the gun over him, and he says Martha, and it returns him to that moment where he is watching the criminal hold the gun to his no. mother's head. One, and it's not he's a gun. realizing it's the spear. Uh, whatever, it's the spear. Doesn't it, no, it's the kryptonite gun. No, it's the spear. You're it's right. The spear. Either way, it doesn't matter. It does matter because your entire argument uh, no, it's focuses not. on that. It's a callback to that moment. Yes. When it's not a gun, he's it's holding, a spear. He's holding and when a weapon. Martha didn't say her own name to her killer. He didn't. It, it's not a parallel. Right. It is a parallel. It's, it's not at all. It's not a parallel. It's not You're so afraid of movies that make you think. No, I. not at all. But that is a fucking dumb plot device, and I'll stand by that opinion forever. Batman forever? <laughs> Wow, that was a heated argument. <laughs> I mean, if you ever want to see us like really get into it, that yeah, Batman you're Superman wanna, wanna is see the Jacob only and I really thing. Go at it. Just really that's just the smack only some thing lips. that like real <laughs> smack some lips and lick some tits. But Batman, tits. <laughs> uh, Batman v Superman is the only thing that gets us like that angry. Yes, like because <laughs> I, I think Martha is a fantastic plot device that really drove that point home. I don't think it's fan. I don't think it's fantastic at all. Uh, that being said, you're right. Too many people who don't like understand movies that well quote that as their only reason for hating them yes i'll give you that point and no one even no one even tries to make the argument that it's good except for me no there are tons of people who do try and make that argument. no 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 the, the martha scene oh I've the never martha seen someone scene someone do an argument of why they think it's good except yeah. for me and i thought it was great in theaters i thought that was a powerful moment did you i did, <laughs> I, did I loved not. that moment uh well, you know, I watched my friend. I watched my friend, uh, editor Jacob. Yeah. I watched him go through the process of of the bandwagon bag, bandwagon cycle with Batman v Superman. Sure. Where he saw the movie, I was sitting right fucking next to him. Yeah. And he enjoyed it. He clearly enjoyed it. We okay. talked about how we enjoyed it all through. Sure. And at the end, we said it, we enjoyed it and we didn't understand the reviews. Then, as everything came out on the internet, he just nonstop was just like, "Yeah, this movie actually sucks, cock." <laughs> Yeah, and, but that can change your opinion on something. But like, after like a couple of months, he just admitted, openly admitted, he's like, yeah, I kind of fell for the bandwagon. Yeah, yeah and, and, he, and he likes the movie. He thinks it's a good movie. Okay. H how many times have you seen that movie? Oh, once. Same. So, so that's not I, I have yet to see the <laughs> Ultimate Edition either. Oh, yeah, that's Which I hear true. fixes I a lot that. of things. And I actually heard that it didn't. I just added time. Uh, I mean, I honestly have no issue with that. I, uh, I mean, even in a good movie, yeah. like uh, like Forty Year Old Virgin is a good example yeah. of adding time to a good movie does not necessarily make. I haven't it seen Forty Year Old Virgin. I haven't either. But I've, I've heard that <laughs> you can't use it as an example. But that's a that's a famous example of some like an edited show, movie that they added time to and and people hated it. Yeah, I'm trying to think of a of a bad director's cut. I Sonic DX. <laughs> yeah, no, no, none of that. I did mission mode. Mission mode's cool. <sighs> It added, it added a sick poster for Sonic X in game, no. so you can see Chris Thorndike in a real Sonic game. <laughs> can we role play Sonic real quick? Five minutes should be plenty. What? Can we role play Sonic real quick? Why? Here, here you choose your character. Wait, what do you mean role play Sonic? Are yeah, we both gonna be Sonic? No, no, no. Choose your character. Who do you want to be? Who do you want to be? I don't. I don't want to be any. I don't want to be a fucking furry. Don't you know about me? Don't you know about me? Yes, <laughs> and yes, and yes, and. Okay, fine, fine. Uh. I want to be Rouge. Why not? I'm okay, partner. I'll be Knuckles. Okay, okay. Do, do, uh, I, I don't... Uh, that's, that's Rouge, you're being a bad, bad girl. Nope, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for, just, thanks for just doing no. improv comedy with me today, Jacob. <laughs> yeah, I, you're welcome. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, that one I, I'm, I'm going to, you know, pull a veto. We're, we're, I'm going to no butt you on that one. Yeah, and you didn't set the timer again, so... I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, say this, this episode's one. over at the end of this episode yeah. or the end of this level. <laughs> sure. We, we shouted idiot. about Batman v Superman for a long time. We did. <laughs> All throughout, not Metal Harbor wink. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. God, I I'm, didn't I've never realized how bad of like a complete rehash of the original. Uh, like, yeah, this I is the either. only new the new this level's new. They this had nothing like new. this in the original. Right, but this is like the only one. Yes. That's crazy. I, I didn't realize how... It's bad. <laughs> yeah. It's annoying. 
Man, this Sonic, game. This why? game just has a lot of really annoying things about it. Yeah. At least, at least when you were playing through the same levels in Sonic, uh, Sonic Adventure One, you were they just characters. said, they just said, all right, this is the same level. Yes. Yes. But, but we're taking through through a different route because you're a different character. Yeah. And that's and, a good. And that's they don't good. Even, they don't even do that with this because a lot of these Rouge ones are reskin Knuckles ones, and they yeah. have the same mechanics. So you're not even different Every, characters. Everything about mechanics of of of. Oh, it's, it's big! big. <laughs> God damn it! Jesus, he's everywhere. <laughs> that might be my favorite part of this playthrough: is just noticing big and. <laughs> he's, he's crawling on the walls like a little xenomorph from yeah. Alien. He's like, ah! I saw that for the first time last night. Alien, the first Alien, one. Alien, the first one. Oh, how'd you like it? I loved it. Did you think? Really did, do you agree with my with my consensus that it is a perfect film? Nope, I don't think a perfect film exists. Okay, I believe a perfect film um, exists, and it's Alien by Ridley Scott. Really? Yes. That is the standard uh, by which I it's hold all very films. very good. I'll, I'll say that. It's a classic. But, I, like, I don't want to call anything perfect. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's, it's, but it's, it's the best version of itself that it could have been. Yes. Like, I don't think that they could have done anything to improve it. I mean, I mean, they could have improved the, uh, some of, some of, there's, like, two, well, there's, there's, two there's scenes there's one point I, I was where there was really some angry. janky effects. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But that's it. Uh, the, the fucking android head thing really bugged me. Oh, uh, where, where it clearly switched where between clearly a human. Switched, and a, yeah. <laughs> yes, it was funny, but like, and that's that's highly improved upon in Prometheus. Is it? Yeah, they they have another one of those, and I think mm. it's highly improved upon in Aliens as well. But I haven't seen Aliens in a while. Mm. By well, while I mean six months ago. <laughs> <laughs> but I wasn't paying that much attention with it. I was I was sure. I was at the drive-in. I was seeing it with my buddy, and we we're having a good oh, time. We we're both big nice. Alien fans. Cool. Kissing each other. I'm gonna I'm gonna see Aliens 2 next. That's my next Aliens one. Aliens 2. Or Alien 2. Oh. The next one on my list. Alien 2. It's called Aliens. Okay, whatever. <laughs> you fucking scum. Who gives a shit? <laughs> Me. Safe in C block. Safe in my cock. Okay. Um, it's warm and snug in there. But actually, watching Aliens made me realize something. Yeah. You know how? Have you ever heard the argument that Ray from uh, Force Force Awakens is a uh, Mary Sue? Yes. Yeah, uh, to me, um, Ripley is the is the perfect version. Uh, Ripley is the perfect argument against that because yeah. I don't think that she she's kind of a Mary Sue too. No, not at all. She, she does nothing wrong. She's she's perfect and like she, there's no point at which she's not perfectly genre savvy, perfectly um, does everything right to stay alive and makes any mistake. I guess so, but like. That to, that's my point, though. That's a good thing. She's a. She, I'm not saying that she's a bad character. Mm -hmm. I'm saying that. Oh, it's inside there. Uh, it's a line. C block. Uh, it's probably inside one of the saves. Yeah, that makes sense. You can dig inside the middle of the saves. Can I? By the way, yeah. I can't. No, I can't. Uh, unless according I, to unless Rouge. Not, oh. I can't. Oh. Maybe it has to be centered. Well, we're gonna lose this level anyway. We are. Uh, try punching the the door. Maybe? That doesn't sound right. There's a switch. What the? F there, the, yeah, the, you're right. There has to be a switch. Oh, well, well, at least we have a good timer <laughs> now. At least someone yeah. set the timer. Okay. <laughs> it's Sonic Team. For all their set faults, the at least they're not. At least they set a the perfect timer. Mary Sue. Anyway, yeah, that that was my point. Like Ripley and Ray are very similar characters, yeah. and no one accuses Ripley of being a Mary Sue. Yes. So. But you know who's a Mary Sue? Who? It's Jin or so from <laughs> Star Wars Rogue. That you actually one. have more of an argument. Yes. For. Um, All right. Next time on Criticade, we're gonna we're gonna try this level again. And we're gonna talk about how Rogue One is fucking terrible. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get so much internet. Hate. <laughs>